Hi guys, it's Jen again. So I uploaded my videos and have enough room on my memory stick now to finish my hauls. So um, this is the second order I had placed from Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop, which I will leave the information down uh, in the description, but here it is just in case. So this is the other order I placed. Um, she was getting the new greeting farm release in, so I had, when I placed the one in my previous video, I told her, you know, it was like two days within of the greeting farm release. Told her, go ahead and hold it. I want to see what's in the greeting farm release, so that way, you know, I can just add it to that order as far as shipping if I didn't meet the $60, but I did. So, I did pick up the birthday wishes die, and I thought this font was super pretty and cute. So, I, you know, had to add that to my collection, as well as the happy birthday die, because these are very versatile, um, you know, for birthday cards and stuff like that. And then I picked up the Miss Anya coffee break. And this is perfect to go with all those little animal critters coffee um, stamps I recently picked up from her shop. So can't wait to play with these. And then also from the new release is the mini remix friend. So I think these are like smaller images of the bigger ones. So these um, will be perfect to put like multiple images I think on a card. So I did pick that up. And then from the previous release, I never picked up, but I've seen Jamie make some beautiful and cute cards with these. This is the Miss Anya Samoyed, which has this cute little dog. So I want to play with this. Um, you know, I like the little girls on it. And then also from the previous release, I did pick up this um, Take a Hike. Because I thought the little couples were cute. And I forgot to share this. I think this was in my previous haul before I ran out of time. Um, I had picked up the Simon Hurley Space Training. I thought this was cute. I saw um, a card with the little spaceship on like the, the animals. So I guess the bigger one probably. And I just thought it was cute. So I figured might as well get this because she has it in her shop. And then you can use her discount code Jamie to get 10% off. So I got that. And then because I had placed a second order, she sent me another one of the neat and tangled um, really pretty enamel dots. So they're like sparkly gold and black. They're called sophisticated enamel dots. So again, that's Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop. And then my last um, online haul, I went super crazy, and I had placed this order from craftdirect.com. They were having a 12% off sale or something like that. Um, let me see if I can find my notes in here. So let's see. I don't know if this has... It doesn't have the pricing or anything on this, but it does have their website, so that's them. And they do have, I guess, a coupon for coming back so you can get 10% off. But I went crazy on the Tim Holtz new um, Halloween and some of the Christmas release. But, you know, as I've said before, I love Halloween. So I bought a lot of, or almost all, I think, of his um, new die release. So I did pick up this big die. This is the window frame. And I saw some really cool, you know, things we made with this as far as spooky Halloween. I picked up the Thinlets, uh, Regions Beyond, so I really like the little, um, like, uh, what is that, like, where you fortune teller ball thing, I don't know, and then of course this one is amazing, this is the Bat Crazy, so I love all the different shapes and Bat, you know, like making them fly, and of course I had to get this one with the cat, this is the Hip Haunts, so I think that one's fun to play with. Um, I got the Skull and Crossbones, so I love this. It's very fun, not spooky kind of image. <clears throat> this one is the Sweet Treats, so this one you can do for Christmas or Halloween. I got the Geo Halloween, so those will be fun to play with, as well as this, which is the Ghost Town, so the spooky houses. This one's part of the Christmas release, which is the Christmas Ribbon. Uh, I'm sorry. They sent everything in like this humongous padded bag envelope thing, so I kind of left it in there because I had to hide it from the hubby because I spent way too much more than I should have. But it was hard to resist. I love Tim Holtz, and all his dies are just super fun. So these are the 3D ones. This one is called Holly. I love the, like, gold, um, foiling paper they used in, you know, showing this. And then this one's super cool. It's called Radiant. <clears throat> I got the Geo Christmas one. This is the Fireside. 
So this I know you could um, make it spooky and take off the Christmas, obviously, and, you know, do what you do. Um, this one is the leaf, so I thought that would be really cool for fall cards, and this is the 3D die. This is Santa's helper. I just thought the little elf was cute, and I know you could take off the um, elf hat and kind of cut the shoes and make it look like a little kid just carrying presents or something. This is Frightful Things. I love these little ghosts. I think those are super cool. And then, let's see. I know there was a, maybe one more tumult one. Yes. So I did get this one. This is the cauldron. So I thought that one would be super fun to play with. And that's a big die. And I know this one I think is from last year, but I always have a hard time paying the $20 for these stamps. So um, this one I think was only like $13 or $14. And on Amazon, for whatever reason, I always find this, their stamps and they're like $10 or $12 or $13. But when I add it to my shopping cart and try to check out, it always says I can't ship it to my location for whatever reason. I don't know if it's something with California or what. It doesn't really give you a good explanation. And even when I try to ship it to a different city, like my mom or my boyfriend's sister's house, it still says the same thing. It's so stupid. So I figure whenever I can find these on sale that will ship to me, I take advantage of it. And this is the zombies one, and I thought this was really cool. And then I think that's all the simple stuff I got. I did pick up a few other Halloween things. Um, so I did pick up the Echo Park Trick or Treat stencil, and this is the spider, spooky spider web one. And then I did pick up, also from that same collection, the Going Batty, which I did pick up the Happy Halloween one, which is Haunted Bats. So they are different. This one has smaller bats as well as big bats, and this kind of is all the same size. So I figured, you know what, whatever, I can use one on cards, one on scrapbook layout. And again, that's from the Happy Halloween Cartabella collection. And then also from that collection, I got the Cauldron Bubbles. So I thought this would be perfect to use like on the background of a card and then use the little cauldron on it. So can't wait to play with that. Um, I picked up these. They were on sale. They are the Thickers in Maggie, which is black glitter with orange foam on the sides. Um, I think they were like $2, so you couldn't pass that up since I was already placing a humongous order. And then I picked up from Happy Halloween stencil from Cartabella the spooky eyes. So I thought these would be cool on a background of a card. And then, you know, or possibly use that with some of the other dies. And then they have this also on sale, which is the Trick or Treat from Photoplay cardstock dies. And I think this is only a dollar and some change, or two dollars. Maybe two fifty, I can't remember. But I just thought, you know, for the price, it was really good. And like, I love Halloween, so I had to pick it up. So that is everything, again, that I got from Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop and CraftDirect.com. Uh, if you guys are still watching this video, I wanted to do a hidden giveaway. So, um... I wanted to give away this super cute little llama stamp from Sizzix that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Um, so if you guys um, are still watching this, please leave a comment down below and tell me um, of these Tim Holtz dies, which one's your favorite and what maybe give me an idea of what you would do with it, you know, like, um, you know, maybe something I wouldn't think of. I know I've seen on Tim Holtz videos people take different things like, you know, this and make it something else, you know, different things like that. And so I will have this giveaway run. Today is August 17th. I will have it run till um, next Saturday, which is the August 24th, I believe. And then I will pick a winner in one of my previous videos. So I've been trying to be better as far as uploading my videos closer to when I've recorded them. I know I've been really behind as far as recording it and then wait, you know, I'm not getting around to uploading it for a week and I'm trying to be better. So I hope you guys like my videos. If you guys do, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave it down below. And I will talk to you later. Bye and hope you guys have a great weekend.